Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the The Light That Binds Us by Andy Darcy Theo. <coughs> this is the front cover. The cover is very good and very beautiful. Descends into the darkness. Then we have the back. What consumes by shadow, even the faintest light, can be blinding. After a childhood haunted by hallucinations, uh, Alexis Michaels, his only comfort is the blue amulet he had since he became, before he can remember. So he can only remember anything from six years old. Now the visions have gone and Alexis craves a normal life. But when a trip to Stonehenge unites him with the three other teens carrying similar gems, normality is abandoned as they are plunged into a hidden world of power-wielding elementals and told they are des destined to save the world from an, from an eternal night. But a dark past plagues Ale Alexis as they pre prepare to defeat their enemies and the Lumen secret sets to corrupt the missions, their lives and his mind. Four friends, four powers, but one epic destiny. So between, so obviously it starts out with Alexis and his adopted family adopting him. He can't remember anything from the age of six, um, because obviously something happened. Um, and then obviously, um, I did actually quite like this. Surprisingly, I did give it four stars. Um, it really reminds me of Percy Jackson, as you can have Alexis who can breathe under the under the water. And another film called The Boy Who Became King. Um, so when they go to the Stonehenge, um, obviously just reminds me of that part. I don't know why. So four people had to trust each other with their with uh, with powers. So we had Alexis and uh, Dimitri Demi. Um, basically, them two met first because they when they met, their amulets lit up, and obviously they became friends ever since. They go to the Stonehenge where they meet two other people, called Plays and Cal Kelly Kelly Kelly. Um, they knew each other from their side and obviously when they all came together the stone hedge lit up and basically pulled them in forward to able to tell them they've now they've got to go. So they go underneath the stone hedge where there is and this wolf is waiting there growling at him and obviously Timmy was like don't worry we're not going to hurt you and it kind of calmed down and they moved on. Then they meet, I can't remember his name now, yep I can't remember his name. <laughs> so um they meet one person, they tell him that, look, this is what's going to happen, you've got this many days, you've got the end of the month to become stronger and help with your powers, otherwise you're going to basically die and perish. Um, then we have, we we'll find out more about Morton. Morton is the guy who actually was able to use the Alexa's powers, um, what he's got, the water, and we find out that he's actually pretty much... Um, we think that Mortem is his dad, since he used to be able to use, like I said, use the water, but turn it before he turned bad and evil, and wanted to rule the human world between everything else. And that probably explains why um, Alexis doesn't have a shadow, and why he can use water powers as well. Um, but we think, obviously, well, I think he obviously, the Mortem got rid of the person who was... Um, who was the, his mum, but we don't know for sure, so anyway, then it goes on throughout where they, obviously they have their teachers helping them throughout their powers this whole month, they've grown gradually, amazingly, quickly and thoroughly for everything else, they managed to get everything that done, then, even on top of that, they go through even more tense moves, so they have to go on a journey, go through and find their actual gems to unite with their amulets, to get even more power so they go to demi's um demi's area first they beat theirs using their powers next up they go to where kelly's kelly's kelly sir is and then they defeat that but obviously in the way of after defeating that they get interrupted by the darker darkness and one of their leaders obviously try bits literally grabs a snake lets a snake out puts um, venom into it and does some kind of hybrid stuff to it and it's like what the extra hell they escape from that then they go to blaze's area um blaze obviously you can tell by his name as well as fire um so they're going to to that and they even go through the whole situation with them and they find even more frightened than the people there the uh, people that taught them their tutors who came there trying to explain to them argue this they left and then they come back but well they didn't come back yet 
then obviously this problem comes who was literally just apparently to escape from prison but actually was just going to be a massive host between the other end of their portal and they were going to get discovered and defeated and then obviously because obviously she was defeated the darkness inside of her she was like no i can't do this you must run and go the other way then obviously everything else happened there was bloodshed there was stuff happening and to be honest i it just i don't know what else to say about this book to be honest there was more things obviously and i think uh, these two has been going through a lot in this book and their teachers gone down since then you know each of them has gone to the place to get the gems so that is everything for this book obviously there is a book two coming out in this series i don't know whether i'm still going to read it or not that's everything i have i hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys next time bye